All right, so we are back at it here with the Flash Forge Creator Pro. Now for some upgrades. So here we have the two corner piece as well as a four mil bracket or sorry spacer. So we're gonna be doing an upgrade on the bed. We're going from a nine six to an eight ten. That's gonna give us a little bit more room. So there's our dirty plate. <laughs> give it a quick little wipe here. Okay, so I've already gone ahead get the hardware off. Sorry, get the arm out of the way there. So we got two nuts from both corners as well as the uh, two screws in the back holding that flash forge plate. All right, so put those corner pieces on like so. And to save time, and given it's going to be a hard shot to get, we're going to tighten everything up off camera. So now for our spacer, remove that plate so we can see what we're doing. This is going to go behind the whole setup here. <laughs> Dropped it there. All right, so one side is going to tuck in on that linear bearing, and the same on the other side. Push that down. It's going to sit in between those two uh, button head screws. That's what those little divots are for. And we're done. So we're going to tighten everything up off camera and be back. All right. So everything's all tied in nice and tight. We did leave that one corner piece here uh, a little loose. That way we can uh, self-adjust for the plate. Unfortunately, the uh, 8x10 plate I got cut wasn't exactly 8x10. So we tighten that uh, flash forward plate back there. Spacers in. So once we fire this up, we're going to have to do an initial bed leveling. But... At this point with the spacer, shouldn't be a big uh, big deal. All right, so plates in place. Gonna throw in our paper clip on one side here. There you go. Right away, you see that snugged it up. So just gonna throw the other one on that far side there. If I can ever stuff my hand in. <laughs> okay, so we got that in there, and we are locked in. That ain't moving. The whole bed itself is moving, but that's a stationary piece uh, from the original one. So all in all, done. This ultimately was motivated for a big quad. So the next uh, printout you should see on here will be a uh, 500 series quad. So we'll leave you with that, guys. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe.